In his 47 years, Rodney King had lived a nightmare, some of it at the hands of others, some of it of his own making. He was found dead at the bottom of his swimming pool early this morning by his fiance. It appears that uh, this is a drowning and there were no obvious signs of uh, foul play. King's beating by L.A. police officers captured on camera in March of 1991 became a symbol of racial tensions. When the white officers were acquitted of using excessive force, Los Angeles exploded in one of the worst urban riots in decades, killing more than 50 people and causing a billion dollars in damage. Even King himself famously pleaded for calm. I just, I just want to say, you know, can we, can we all get along? He was both physically and mentally scarred from the incident and eventually won a multi-million dollar settlement. But his troubled life continued. In the years that followed, King was arrested repeatedly for everything from drunk driving to spousal abuse. In his memoir, released just two months ago, King wrote of his demons, how he was still struggling with alcohol abuse, but he insists that he had made peace and, with uh, the past. You know, people have forgiven me for some things that I've done, and, you know, um, and so I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I wasn't able to forgive, you know, the, the officers. He was a father, a grandfather, and soon to be a husband again. Rodney King may have tried to get his life back on track, but he never truly succeeded. Lee Cowan, CBS News, Los Angeles.